dance, but they were too simple. What happened? <laughs> you like YouTube? When I was starting the raw food diet, I was searching a lot of times for recipes, and it was hard to find good ones. And that's too bad. And um, it's quite an unfortunate it's thing. Actually, that's actually how I discovered uh, you, Be Life. <laughs> uh, what Dan YouTube? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> through Dan McDonald's channel, you're making some uh, wraps, and they actually looked really good. The recipe was like pretty off the hook. Did like, you ever try it? Um, I don't think I did, but I know it was like <laughs> something with strawberries, and it looked really good. Yeah, yeah, it was really fun. The strawberry was in, in the pate, and it was also in the wrap. True, because one thing that I always teach and always let people know to do is when you're making a wrap, most of the time it's a really good idea to actually add some a good percentage of the ingredients that you're going to put into the pate actually into the wrap itself like chopped herbs or the fruits and vegetables whichever, whichever you're using in the actual wrap to put it in the pate too because what it does is it helps the flavors like bounce off each other it helps enhance the flavors in the in the wrap when you take a bite into it so yeah that's a good observation tmf it's a good way to create the orgasm of the taste buds that you know we, we all know and love. Orgasm of the taste buds? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> so yeah, I think there needs to be a larger base of good tasting recipes for raw yeah, foodists sure. on YouTube. Not just I for agree. raw foodists, but for all people who are just interested in trying the diet. I think a lot of people are looking for stuff that tastes good you know what i mean like they want to try healthy food and they want to try a healthier active lifestyle but they're not really willing to let go of their favorite comfort foods so. and god forbid unfortunately there aren't very many good tasting ones out there <laughs> and i've been told this left and right i haven't made any of them i've only made mine but i've been told by numerous accounts and people that there just ain't very many flavorful recipes out there in the YouTube world or even in the book world or even in the raw restaurant world. <laughs> but hey, we're changing that paradigm, baby. So be on the lookout for some good Be on the lookout. Woohoo! Yeah. Yo, you know what? What's up? I thought I might actually share this with my viewers out there, my friends, family, and fans. We're in Golden Gate Park. Yes, we are. Chilling, just kept going for a nice stroll. Get some lymph circulation. And, uh, yeah, get some lymph, lymph some circulation. Air. Get some fresh air. Yeah, Washington. just loving it. Mm, so Such a beautiful day today. And uh, yeah, we're here in San Francisco because tomorrow I have a guest chef appearance at Pina Pachamama. Going to make some amazing food, have music. It's going to be really awesome off the charts. And uh, on Sunday is the Best of Raw Awards, the Red Carpet gala, gala here in San Francisco where all of the awards will be presented. I'm actually a presenter at the awards show myself, so it'll be a lot of fun. We both flew up here on Virgin Air. We rode a Virgin uh, on the way up here, so it was a nice plane and very, very comfort, very, very comforting flight. So yeah, so we're here in the Bay Area and loving life. So we're gonna go and venture more. We're adventuring through San Francisco to Berkeley, gonna end up at Cafe Gratitude. Just loving life. Love you so much, yo. Sign off, yo. Love you guys. Love Take you. Care. Yo, Peace. let me say love you. Take the camera. Because you know how I roll. I love you so much from the bottom of my heart. The depths. Mm, pulling that love out. I love you, rock star style. Woo! Wee! And cut.